हेलो माय नेम इज आरती कलकोटे आई एम रिप्रेजेंटिंग टीम टेक सेवी माय प्रोजेक्ट पार्टनर्स आर मुरलीधर तिरुपति एंड वंशी दासरी वी डिजाइंड अ सैटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम हियर इज द डिजाइन ऑफ आवर सैटेलाइट कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ सैटेलाइट हब कंट्रोलर एंड थ्री डिवाइसेस दीज थ्री डिवाइसेस आर कनेक्टेड टू द सैटेलाइट हब कंट्रोलर थ्रू अ सीरियल लिंक एंड सैटेलाइट हब कंट्रोलर इज ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड to the data center through serial link devices has its own queue to manage the request received while the hub controller is busy with other requests and hub controller consists of controller one memory m1 one memory m2 and 10 memory m3s we used verilog for the uh, to design this system and uh, used xilinx for the simulation before going into the details of uh, the working of the system let's see what are our, uh, what are our assumptions in in this uh, serial communication we considered 1 megabits per second is equals to 10 raised to power 6 bits per second device is sending 10 bits of command to the satellite hub controller in those 10 bits first bit is operation and it represents send or receive uh, if it is equals operation bit is equals to 0 that is the send operation device is sending the data and if it is equals to 1 that is uh, device is requesting the data the 8th and 9th bit represents device id if uh, it is equals to 0 1 that that is device 1 1 0 represents device 2 and 1 1 represents device 3 in case of transaction size we are considering it is constant for a given tr data tag in each test file for these two bits if these are 1 1 that represents 128 bytes of data 0 1 512 bytes of data and 10 1024 10, bytes of data we allocated 5 bits for the tr data tag as there are only 31 uh, 31 tr data tag requests and as uh, as we discuss there is a queue on the device side uh, to manage all the request that queue is having a uh, request number that represent which request need to be sent next to the satellite hub, satellite hub controller in case of satellite hub controller we are having three types of memories m1 is of 256 bytes m2 is of 512 bytes and m3 is of 1024 bytes and uh, all the memories are having 16 bit wide data bus and all the buffers used in the system are 16 bit wide we used counters to keep the track of uh, the request queue and uh, to keep the track how many times we use the tr data tag let's go into the mem- details of memory memory M1 is splitted into two parts the second part is used to store the data but in the first part we are storing a queue and a lookup table in the lookup table bits 10 to 15 represents the memory address of this tr data tag and uh, bits 14 15 represents transaction size of that tr data tag and bits 10 to 13 represent the counter for that tr data tag that means how many times we use the tr data tag and bits 0 to 9 are used to store the queue memory 3 is spl- one of the memory 3 is split into eight parts eight chunks of 128 bytes of data so that we can allocate that memory to the tr data tag with 128 byte size uh byte transaction size we also used t- 91024 memories uh, to allocate them to the tr data tags with transaction size 1024 and 1512 to allocate it to the transaction size of uh, 512 bytes let's go into the details of uh, how the send and receive or uh, receive request are working when the device is sending command uh of the send request the satellite hub controller will fetch the value 
uh, of TR data tag. Then it will uh, fetch the associated uh, tag counter from the lookup table. If that tag counter is, is not equals to zero, that means uh, that TR data tag is accessed and it is present into the memory, uh, into the local memory. So uh, satellite hub controller will fetch the value of val address of uh, that memory location and uh, send the data to the device from that memory location. If the tag counter is not e is equals to zero, that means uh, the TR data tag is not present into the local memory and uh, into the local memory. So uh, if the controller now will check for the availability of the memory. If the memory is available, it will fetch, uh, it will receive the data from the uh, from the uh, device and store it into the uh, local memory. Now, uh, if the memory is not available, we have to allocate one memory to the uh, received data. So it will evict the memory, uh, it will evict the memory based on least number of times used policy and uh, evicted memory will, will be allocated for the new request. As we are accessing the uh, TR data tag, uh, it, it will increment the tag counter associated with that TR data tag. The request request works in a similar fashion. If uh, the controller gets, uh, gets a request, that is uh, device is requesting for the data, it, uh, in the similar fashion, it will uh, check for the tag counter associated with the requested TR data, uh, data tag. If that is not equals to zero, that means data is present in the local memory and it will fetch the data and give back to the device. Uh, if the tag counter is equals to zero, that means data is not present in the local memory. Uh, either it has to fetch from the data center and uh, give it back to the uh, to the device. So it, it will first check for the uh, availability of the local memory. If the local memory is available, it will directly fetch the data from data center, store it into the local memory and give back to the uh, device. If the memory is not available, that means we have to do eviction. And uh, again, the least, re least number of times used policy uh, is used for the eviction the evicted memory is allocated uh, for the new request we are uh, as data is not present here we are going to data center fetching the data and storing into the newly allocated memory location and giving it back to the device here are uh, some values on from which we can see that it takes these many clock cycles to send the data to device if it is local and it takes these many clock cycles to send the data uh, which is not present in local memory which we have to fetch from the uh, data center this shows that uh, this shows that if we are fetching the data from data center it takes lot of time to avoid this we are using uh, least number of times used uh, replacement policy that means whichever TR data tag is least used we will replace that while eviction uh, to implement this policy we uh, we are considering the tag counter values whichever tag uh, whenever we are accessing the TR data tag we are incrementing the associated tag counter so uh, consider the tag counter one is used only once and tag counter two is used uh, two times then the uh, system will evict the tag counter one as it is used only once uh, and while eviction it will flush all the values from the memory uh, from the lookup table related to that tr data tag We are also using a flag, global flag register, which uh, shows the values when our operations are uh, finished. Uh, it, it has a write completion, read completion for the local memory. Uh, it has a write and read completion for the satellites and uh, the flag for 
uh, flat resistor fourth bit is represented uh, whether the satellite hub is uh, busy or uh, free for the next request if this bit is one uh, then the device controller will send the next request to the satellite hub let's have a small demo in this i gave uh, the first i re i requested the uh, tr data tag uh, 1 2 and 3 for the demo purpose we are considering that we are having only two um, two memories for the 128 bytes of data and uh, when the device is sending tr data tag 1 uh, it will store it into the uh, memory 1 then device is sending for the tr data tag 2 it will store into the memory 2 but here we can see that device is at, uh, accessing tr data tag twice and while the replacement uh, it will check for the uh, how many times the tr data tag is accessed so tr data tag 2 is accessed only once uh, so while once we we receive this request it will replace uh, the tr data tag 2 value so here we can see in the memory uh, as we discussed first 6 bits represents the uh, memory select value and uh, for the tr data tag 2 as it is evicted we can see this value is 0 and uh, as we accessed the tr data tag 1 uh, once the value is 1 and we, are, we access the tr data tag 3 once the value is 1 uh, tag counter value is 1 and we replace the tr data tag 2 so all the related values are uh, flushed from the memory we are using least uh, number of times used replacement policy uh, so we are keeping the frequently used data local uh, local into the memories and uh, this will reduce our satellite uh, satellite communication uh, that means latency is reduced and uh, communication cost is also uh, reduced thank you ah you did it but last